What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we are rocking out with a Tinkaton team for the Series 2 ladder. You guys are in a deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button and join the Jeans community. We're closing in on 20,000 subscribers. And I cannot wait to hit that milestone. So huge shout out to everybody who tunes in, watches the videos, likes up the videos. And if you are subscribed to the channel, an even bigger shout out to you guys. But before we get started here with today's team preview, I want to give a huge shout out to team creator Falken VGC. Thank you so much for making this team and making it a rental code for everybody to use. I will be leaving a pokey paste and a link to his channel down in the description below. So if you guys want to go check it out, please do so. Like I said, links will be down in the description below. But we got Iron Bundle to get us started here with today's team preview. Iron Bundle, top tier Paradox Pokemon, really, really strong, really fast, has high special attack. This one has Quirk Drive, Booster Energy as item and ability, then hit with Freeze Dry, Protect, Hydro Pump, and Icy Wind, which is arguably the best move set for any Iron Bundle. Tinkaton is going to be our second Pokemon. Tinkaton, I absolutely love this Pokemon. Definitely underwhelming with its stats, but design-wise, I think it's one of the coolest Gen 9 Pokemon. It has own tempo, a soul fest as item, and then it has Gigaton Hammer, play rough, knock off, and fake out. So still a decent Pokemon considering it has fake on control. I like it all around. Roaring Moon's gonna be our third Pokemon. Great physical attacker for this team with Protosynthesis and the Lumberry. It's rocking acrobatics, breaking swipe, jaw lock, and dragon dance to set up that, those stat boosts. Fourth Pokemon is going to be Torkoal. Everybody knows Torkoal is so strong in Series 2, considering it can proc Protosynthesis and then at the same time still get some nice little weather control value out of it. It's got Drought, it's got the Charcoal, then track Clear Smog to counter, uh, what is that, Dantozo teams, and then Eruption, Protect, and Flamethrower for its other three moves. Bottom left hand corner is going to be Annihilate, but Annihilate still top tier in Series 2 meta, really strong all around, and just it's just an absolute beast. It's got Defiant, the Life Orb as item, Earthquake, Rage Fist, Close Combat, and Protect. I'm really liking this moveset for him. Final Pokemon is going to be Volcarona. Volcarona is that Pokemon that's not meta, but it's not terrible. It's actually still, it's like right in between where it's that strong Pokemon. It's so good. I really like it considering you can do so much with it. Its move pool is amazing. This one has Tailwind on it. You can make it support. You can make it physical or special attacking. It's just so good all around. It's got Flame Body, the Focus Sash, Bug Buzz, Tailwind for Speed Control, Giga Drain, and Heat Wave for its moveset. Guys, you want to rent this team for yourself? Rent the code is at the top right-hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that right double ladder. Look to grab some wins with this Tinkaton Series 2 team. First match coming at you guys, going up against a top-tier team right here. They got Fluttermane, they got Talon Flame, they got Great Tusk. Tyranitar, and then last two Pokemon, Iron Bundle and Golden Ghost. So a team full of meta Pokemon. Hopefully we can get after this and grab ourselves a win for match number one. Considering the past two videos I've released, we grab ourselves 3-0 perfect record. So technically we're on like a six game win streak. Let's keep it cooking for you guys. But uh, Tinkaton's gonna be a solid lead here. We can fake out, we can do nice stuff with it. I do believe Talonflame might be Covert Cloak, but I don't know if it actually is because a lot of Pokemon have not been using Covert Cloak considering fake out has kind of just been on the downfall with this game. So, you know, I'm still going to lead Tinkaton, try to get off a fake out from there and get after it that way. And the next Pokemon, I'm thinking of leading a Pokemon more so like Volcarona, just so we can set up speed and tailwind control, or I can do that with Iron Bundle. It's really my call. I definitely want Iron Bundle in here. I might lead it. I just might lead it. Do I rip with it? Do I do it? I think I do it. I think I do it. You know? No, you know what? Mm. Do I want the bundle? I kind of want the bundle. Let's do it. Let's rip with the bundle. You know, we're going to go Bundle here. We're going to take a time. We're going to bring War Moon. And then last but not least, I think Annihilate is going to be your best bet. I like Annihilate. So let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in match number one. But I think Talonflame is going to be the lead alongside the Pokemon like Fluttermane. And if they do do that, I might just, I just might Gigaton Hammer the Fluttermane. Might just do that. I might just do that. But again, depends who they lead. I can definitely see Talonflame being like a guaranteed lead here. But we'll see. We shall see. The Fluttermane and Talonflame. So I was correct with that. I was correct. So Talonflame might just protect here. And I could definitely see that happening. And I'm thinking of just ripping a Gigaton Hammer straight into both these Pokemon. Or into the Fluttermane here. Like Talonflame might just protect. Because I, I doubt it's Covert Cloak. Or it might actually be Covert Cloak. So I think best bet here is just to do that. And do I Ice Win or do I just straight up Hydro Pump? Hmm. What is my play here? I don't mind the Icy Wind just in case Sash is out. So I am just going to Icy Wind this turn one. The Town Flame does not protect or anything. It could have been Cover Cloaked. I have no idea. But I'm going for Gigaton Hammer. He goes for a Mystical Fire. That's a little scary, but you should soak. Yeah. 
You do soak, your special attack is dropping. But it's all good. We're dropping a nice little icy one here. Slowing down a little bit. Hydro Pump definitely would have been a better play. But, but, everything should work out fine here. Because Gigaton Hammer coming in hot here. Bang. See you later, Fluttermate. We got a lot of value out of that Tinkaton right there. The Tinkaton's thriving here. Big time Gigaton Hammer. And what I could do from here is Town Flame's probably going to take out my Tinkaton, right? I could end up swapping. Because this might just be free EQs, right? This seems scary. This could be free EQs. I do have a Dragon Terra. I could go into... Mm, I was going to say I could go into you, but I always forget that this thing's not flying, but it's in the air. So it annoys me. <laughs> it annoys me so much. I mean, I might just... Uh, hmm. I might just knock off this thing. I don't really want to double down into that thing. I'm just going to let Tinkatung die out here. And I could Terra here into straight water, which might be my play. And then just pop a Hydro Pump and try to get rid of this thing, right? I think that's got to be my play. Because if we can land this, we can just straight up get rid of the Great Tusk. And that'd be a big time play from us. That'd be a big time play from us. So I'm going to try slice here. I'm going to just try to dump on this Great Tusk. But I really want to get rid of this thing. I really want to get rid of the Great Tusk right here, right now. So we Terrasalize the Iron Bundle. He's going to Terrasalize, right? But we outspeed it. That's huge that we outspeed that Pokemon. And this is probably straight ground, right? Gotta be straight ground, which we're hoping for here, right? Yeah, straight ground. So straight ground, we outspeed it considering our Terrasalization animation came out first. So I think we're fine. I think we're chilling here. Let's see what he does. He's gonna go for the Brave Bird into me. You should be able to soak that. You do. And you should be able to go next. Yep, Hydro Pump comes out here and no shot. Oh my God. Did me so dirty. Did me so dirty. Makes me waste my terrestrialization and he picks up a free double kill. That hurts. That really hurts right there. That really hurts. We're going to lose this match to a missed EQ or a missed Hydro Pump. What you mean? What you mean? That's a what you mean moment right there. That one hurts because we made the right call all day. We made the right play 1,000%. 1,000% we made the right call there. 1,000% we made the right call there. And now Annihilate will die out to a Brave Bird. Ah, man. Come on. This, this, this game should be, a, should be a rat. This should be... Actually, I wouldn't say a rat, but it should be very close here. It should be very close. Hmm. I could break and swipe a drop attack, but I'd rather just pick up the KO on the Talonflame. And then just protect you. If I had to guess, it's probably EQ, Brave Bird. This is just tough news here, dude. The Great Tusk should be dead. It should be dead. It should be no problem. It should be no problem. So we end up protecting here. Ray Bird's probably coming in here. No, he's going to go for a taunt. That's totally fine. I mean, you're taunting my Annihilate. That's fine. Are you going for... You got to be going for an EQ here. Close combat. I'm dead to that. Yeah, I'm dead. GG's. This game, man. This game. He goes for close combat instead of the EQ. It's just game, set, match. Like I said, we should have had Great Tusk gone, but missing Hydro Pumps just hurts the soul, man. Hurts the soul. Don't like it at all. Don't like it at all. So... We end up losing this battle due to a missed attack. We're just going to run it. Let's hop through a second match. Look for a first victory. Second match coming at you guys. I don't even want to talk about that first match. Losing the battle to a missed Hydro Pump. My soul. Hurting real bad. Definitely a what you mean moment. But like I said, second match coming at you guys. Going up against a really strong team with Gothitelle, Palafin, Fluttermane, Iron Hands, Amoongus, and Arcanine. So I want to leave Tinkaton here just in case the fake out is coming out and about. So Tinkaton, you're coming in here. I can fake out before he can fake out with the Iron Hands, and we can pretty much roll out after the battle. Second Pokemon I want to bring in here, I'm kind of leaning towards Iron Bundle. Iron Bundle is good for uh, attacking and for speed control, so I really like Iron Bundle. Right, do I, do I lead the Iron Bundle? Yeah, I feel like you can't go wrong with Iron Bundle. So I'm going to go Iron Bundle here. I'm going to bring Warm Moon in the back end, and then last but not least, Annihilate's not too bad here. I kind of like Annihilate. I'm all about it. I'm all about the Annihilate. So, you know, we're going to we're gonna bring him in here, and I'm guaranteeing you guys victory here. We got to grab ourselves a win after that last horrific, horrific is an understatement loss right there in match number one. Sitting out, I was like, he's going to thrash slides. I want to get rid of it. So, I thrash slides. I even wasted my thrash slides to just dump on that great tusk. And the game was like, nah, you're missing this one. You do. Sorry, jeans. I was like, come on, man. Come on, man. This is awful, but we're sitting here. Uh, he's probably just going to hard swap the Tinkaton. 
I'm not even gonna lie because he knows Fake Out is coming out and about. So or not Tinker Time. He's gonna hard swap to Palafin. So I think that's fine. I think we might just go straight after the Fluttermane here. So both our speeds are heightened. But I still think mine's faster. If I'm maxed out on speed at least. 206 I am maxed out on speed. Which is just a gorgeous sight to see. Um I could slow it down or I could predict who he's gonna swap into. It seems like maybe an Arcanine swap. Hmm. I could just double down in this slot, which I'm really leaning towards. Then double down in the slot. So yep, it's a hard swap from the Palafin. We saw that from 55,654 miles away. And the Gothel is going to swap in here, so I do not mind this double down here. The Freeze Dry is going to fire. We do outspeed, chucking up some nice damage. I probably maybe should Icy Wind here, but Parasong is going to come out in about. Okay. I mean, I guess I could deal with that. I guess I could deal with that, because Play Rough comes in here. Tinkaton picks up the big KO. And he's going to fake me out. He's going to bring back out Palafin, which is atrociously awful. And Parasong is just going to start chipping into me. Okay. Okay, I can deal with it. I can deal with that. I can do this. I can do this. No, Arcanine comes out here. He's got to fake me out here. Own tempo is going to be great. And we are special attacking, so that's great too. So I am just going to straight up protect. I'm going to knock off you, and I'm just going to protect this thing. Because I can definitely see a fake out coming out here. Into my Deli Deli Bird slot, right? So we protect. There's the fake out. Easy reads. Easy reads, baby. Easy reads. Are you doubling down into, into my Deli Deli Bird? The knockoff coming out here, chipping up some nice damage. We like that a lot. We knock off a Citrus Berry too, so that's good. And Willow is going to fly into you. Okay. I mean, I could deal with that. Considering we outspeed it. I think we have to get rid of this, uh, this Gothitel right here right now. Knock off into Freeze Dry. Double down into it. Arcanine might even Terrasalize here. That was, just a bit, that was just a big time protect. But we have to get rid of this, uh, we have to get rid of this Gothitel right here right now. Just so we can swap next turn. So this is a, we, we have to double down here. And I hope that doesn't protect. We're here. We came to play. We came to play considering this is will be our last chance to swap. So if we get rid of it, we take the shadow tag off the field. We can swap. For people that don't know, since we can't swap right now, considering Gothel has the ability shadow tag, which makes any Pokemon on the field unable to swap. So that's why we got to get rid of Gothel because the Parasong is counting down. It's going to kill us all. And he does not protect it, which is huge. That's big time plays. That's big time plays. Brings it down the... Oh. And we get a little freeze RNG, even though we don't really need it. Because Tinkaton's going to go next. And should KO, right? You don't KO! I get, I get it. I understand that you're burned. I understand that you're burned. But you have to pick up the KO there. And I get burned here. You have to pick up the KO there. I needed you, Tinkaton. More than anything. Got those frozen solid. Okay, so at this point, we're dead to Parasong. Let's go all out. We're going to Hydra Pump into the Arcanine slot. And I might even double down in the Arcanine slot, just in case we miss, but because that thing is not perished. That thing is not perished, but Gothel is perished, so Gothel is going to die. So, you know, I'm going to say screw it. I'm going to double down in this slot. Just in case Hydra Pump misses, we'll take off that thing's item, and we'll go for this Hydra Pump. I knew it. I do back of my head after I clicked it, I was, I was like, I was like, Arcanine might just protect. Oh, that's an ugly. That's real ugly. It's real ugly that we didn't pick up the KO. If I wouldn't pick up the KO there, I would just swap with Deli Bird. We wouldn't thrive in. Okay, but still. I don't think this is a bad setting here. It's a 2v2. The Arcanine has a little bit of damage down onto him. We still have my boy. Roar Moon. And I have my... Uh, what's it called? My, uh, what is it? I can't even think of the name. My Annihilate. But the best part about the Roar Moon is it has Lumberry. It has Lumberry. We know Arcanine's probably going to go for the Will-O-Wisp. Try to get them on me. And I'm going to start attacking it right off the rip. Because I know it can't protect either. So down goes Tickaton. Down goes Deli Deli Bird. And down goes Gothitel. God dang Parasong. So annoying. So annoying with the Parasongs. But Tinkaton, you got to be better than that. You got to be able to pick up the KO there. But I can bring out you. I can bring out you. And I do have Ground Terror. I do have Ground 
Terra if I want to use it. If I want to pop EQs, I could. I might just pop EQs and terrestrialize my War Moon in a flying. Might be my play, because Palafin's coming out here. That Pokemon's real scary. Real, real scary. I might have to go after that. I'm not even lying. I might have to go after that. I could attack drop. I could go for jaw lock. Um, hmm. What's my play? Because we go first. Break and swipe might be my play. I'm going to break and swipe. I actually feel like EQ's got to be my play. Yep, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Coming down to the wire here. We're going up against top tier Palafin. We know Palafin, how strong it is. We know it has first turn priority as well. And Arcanine. Which Arcanine, we're kind of hoping that he will us into my, uh, into my Roar Moon just so we can get our uh, Acrobatics doing more damage. Because we have that Lumberry, we'll take it off right away. And we go from there. So Palafin ends up protecting. That's fine. We're going for the Break and Swipe and the EQ. Two double hitting moves. Pretty good for us. And we get the attack drop. So Break and Swipe coming out here. Send it over onto the Arcanine. How much damage are we doing? Not bad damage, but more importantly, a little bit of attack drop action. EQ is going to fly here. Chipping off some more damage. And it's good to know that we outspeed that Arcanine. It's really good to know that. The EQ flying out here. How much damage are we doing to Arcanine? Really? Really? R really? Yo, really? Hold up. Really? That thing survives with a free focus sash on one HP? Come on now. This is stuff I gotta deal with. I got look at that. Look at that. Look at that. That's so ugly, man. It's real ugly. Uh I don't know if I drop an acrobatics into Palafin slot. I feel like I have to and then just throw an EQ across the board. <clears throat> That's my play. That is my play. Hurts, hurts, hurts. It is good to know that we outspeed the Palafin. I mean, I get that it has Jet Punch, but he is going to end up Thrasslizing here. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Definitely hurts. So, Thrasslize is coming out here. What move are you going for here, kind sir? Arcanine ends up protecting. That's totally fine. That is totally fine. Arcanine protects. We go for Acrobatics. We outspeed, which is good. Unless it goes for a Jet Punch, that's the only way we don't outspeed. And Acrobatics is chipping up some nice damage. Wave Crash. Who are you going into? My Annihilate or my Roar Moon? My Roar Moon. I might be able to soak this one, man. A little bit too much damage there. That's a little bit too much damage there. That one hurt. That one hurt. So he takes a mean recoil damage. I don't know if EQ can KO. I don't think EQ can KO. And you go second. You know what? Yeah, you are going to die. You are going to die here. Oh, no. So any way out of this? Any way out of this? I mean, EQ is definitely going to play. I don't even think EQ can KO again, but he's just going to wave crash KO us. He protects there. Which I don't know why. Oh, just for burn to chip up a little bit more damage. That's a smart play. The so burn's chipping up a little bit more damage. EQ is going to KO, and now we just have to go for a Rage Fist here. But yeah, I think, I think we die out here. Considering you just took out my Roar Moon in one shot, no problem. That's tough. That's tough. We're down to about yellow. We're, we're pretty much mid here. Wave Crash is definitely going to KO us. And I have no like first turn priority. I got nothing. Let's see what he ends up going for. Wave Crash. It's GG's. That is GG. So that hurts the soul that we're 0-2 that we're going into the third and final battle. That really hurts because I feel like we're playing decently well here. RNG screwed us in match number one. I mean, he ended up burning my... Uh, my what's called... Actually, Arcanine survived on one, which kind of did us dirty there too. So match number one, match number two, we're playing good. Been, been, been getting the, the bad side of everything, but we got to hop into that third and final battle and get ourselves a win here. Third and final match coming at you guys. Let's grab ourselves a win. We've been done dirty in both of our battles so far. Missed the Hydra Pump match number one, and uh, our opponent was left on one with the free focus action match number two. But I'm grabbing ourselves a win here. There's no way we're going on with three. I'm guaranteeing you guys victory. We're going up against a Cerule Edge and Garchomp team. With my boy Iron Bundle, Amoongus, Gardevoir, which if I had to guess, probably Choice Scarf Gardevoir, and then Torko is going to be a final Pokemon, which I do not believe we're going to be seeing in this match. So who should I go into this one? How should I lead it? I feel like Delibird is just an amazing lead. It's really good up against a lot of these Pokemon. So Delibird, you're coming out here. Definitely got to lead Delibird. Delibird is going to be the lead. 
Um, I could lead Volcarona and just try to get some Tailwind control, some speed control there as well. Or I could lead a Pokemon more so like Tinkathon. And just, just for a nice little fake out turn one. Which I kind of really like. I do actually really like that. I'm going to go Tinkathon. I'm going to go Iron Bundle. Got to bring the Roaring Moon. And then last but not least, Annihilate or Volcarona. Volcarona does have the Focus Ash, which I really, really like. But the problem with Volcarona is they have Pokemon that are super effective to it from all angles. So Annihilate. I'm going to bring you. I'm going to bring you. Looking to pop a nice little Rage Fist. Got the Life Orb on it. Should be able to do a big chunk of damage. I'm with it. I am with it. But as long as our opponent doesn't lead a Moongus, I feel like our lead is going to be really good. But now, since I said that, they are definitely going to lead a Moongus. Moongus is definitely the lead. <laughs> it's going to be terrifying. So let's see. Is it a Moongus? Garchomp Gardevoir. Okay, I can deal with Garchomp Gardevoir. I can deal with Garchomp Gardevoir here. I can deal with Garchomp Gardevoir. I feel like Garchomp has to protect here. So I'm going to fake out the Gardevoir. And I'm just going to Icy Wind across the board. Slow down everybody, and we'll go from there. So we'll fake out the Gardevoir slot. Garchomp might even Terrasilize here. Might even swap, protect. Something along the lines here, right? And the reason, the reason I want to fake out the Gardevoir is because if it is Choice Scarf, like I think it is, we'll make it flinch, we'll slow it down. Then Deli Bird can outspeed. We can pick up the KO if we want to. Or I can just hit it with a Gigaton Hammer. It's really up to me. But I feel like this person's in a tough spot here. Oh no, he doesn't do anything with the Garchomp. He stays straight in with the Garchomp. So Icy Wind's going to do a nice chunk of damage. Four times super effective. Almost KOs. Almost KOs. That's wild. Almost KOs. And we'll see what he wants to do from here. Garchomp's just going to go for an EQ with Telepathy here. Uh, Tinkathon, can you eat that? I know Delibird can, right? Can you eat that up, Tinkathon? Tinkathon, you do not. Okay. I mean, that's fine. Considering I can Icy Wind KO the Garchomp here. Slow down Gardevoir again. And just go into you, right? I could go straight into you. Or I can go into Pokemon like Annihilate. And just Rage Fist it down. Yeah. Makes the most sense. It makes the most sense. So Annihilate comes out here. Icy Wind 100% recall. 1000% recall. We're going to Icy Wind. And then just go for the Rage Fist. Do I have Terrasilize here? I think we have to save our Terra. I think we save it. He ends up protecting the Garchomp. I do think that Gardevoir is still choice, right? I think we'll find out here. I think a minus two Gardevoir still outspeeds on Annihilate. We're going to hope not because then I can potentially KO here, right? We had a crit on Gardevoir. It didn't really matter. It's minus two. And it has a berry. It has a nice lovely Citrus Berry. The Citrus Berry going to give it a bit more HP. Can you go first Annihilate? You do. I think this should still KO. We do. Okay, so that's big time. That's big time KO. I'm not worried about the Garchomp because there's nobody faster on this on our opponent's team than the Deli Bird. Unless he goes into Shadow Sneak to Rule Edge, which is an option, but highly unlikely, right? Because then you're going to have to deal with a Nine here as well. Iron Bundle comes out on his side. It could be a Speed Tie, speed tie to Quirk Energy. It is. It is. It is a Speed Tie here. It is a speed tie. Still gonna do this, and I think I just close combat it down. We're maxed out on speed. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to get rid of the deli bird. He ends up with on the guard chomp. We're doubling down into deli deli, and I'm not worried about the guard chomp. I really am not. I really am not. He's gonna go into cerule edge. The cerule edge comes out here. Icy wind comes out here first. We might not be able to outspeed iron bundle here. But if he gets rid of my Iron Bundle and I get rid of his, I feel like we're fine. Yep, Free Strike comes out here. He takes out my Iron Bundle. I'm going to be able to take out his Iron Bundle. And this turns into a solid, solid match here. A solid match here. There goes Close Combat. See you later, Bundle. And now we're rocking out. Now we are here to play. So my defense is down. Kind of ugly, but I'll take that. Garchomp's on 1 HP, pretty much. And Cerule Edge is out here to play. So Cerule Edge might be a little tough customer here. I know it probably has Terror type Grass. But Roar Moon can outspeed both of these guys, and I'm thinking I'm just going to drop a Break and Swipe here, turn one, just to get rid of the Garchomp and drop an, uh, or have an attack drop on top of that. So I could try, do I try slice here? I'm thinking I should, right? Just so I can pop EQs for free. There's Roar Moon, let me see your speed. You're, you're faster than these guys, right? Let me see your speed. 100%, you are faster than both of them. Cool. So I am going to end up try slicing. 
going for the breaking swipe, and then just pop an EQ. They're free, they're super effective on this rule edge. If he wants to terrasize the grass, I'll just acrobatics down next turn. Seems like this match is a lock, right? Hopefully no RNG messes us up here. Cause that could be real ugly. That could be real ugly. So we Terra, my War Moon. Good thing I saved this one. And he's gonna end up terrasize probably in the grass here, right? Probably grass to rule edge. Where are you going, Garchomp? It's to rule edge. Grass to rule edge. Again, that's fine. Like I said, we'll just acrobatics that thing down next turn. Totally fine. Totally fine. So Garchomp ends up protecting. Okay, looks like I have to break and swipe next turn. That's actually a really good protect. That's actually a really, really smart protect. But still, break and swipe comes out here, and it's even better that I get an attack drop. Oh, that thing's clear amulet. Really? Wow. No clear amulet action. Little clear amulet action on this thing. So that's gonna come through, not do really any damage to the Cerule Edge. And what are you going for, Cerule Edge? It's Sword Sands here. I don't mind. I feel like I just protect here, right? You have to be going for like a Shadow Sneak into Annihilate for the KO. And I just break and swipe across the board and just protect Annihilate. Seems like my play. Maybe I should just double down just in case. He goes after Warren Moon, but I feel like we're fine after that, considering we have speed. We can hit with Rage Fist. We can do a good bit. We could do a good bit. But I'm protected. I do think a Shadow Sneak is is coming in here from him. But I think this match is wrapped, right? I think it's wraps. I think we're sitting really good. Our opponent's definitely thinking of a way to try to like come back here. But I think we have this one on lockdown. Let's see what he ends up going for. There's the Shadow Sneak. Easy reads. Easy reads to finish off today's video. Easy reads. I got you guys. I got you guys. No way we're going 0 3. No shot. No shot. We take out the guard chop. Buff skin's going to hurt us up a little bit. And now it's 2v1 up against an opponent or a Pokemon with no double hitting. Amazing. Beautiful. Lovely. Acrobatics going to fly from us. We're going to a Rage Fist. GG. Light work. Easy, baby. Shadow Sneak can come through here. This is what was supposed to happen last turn. That's exactly why I protect it. And now Acrobatics flies here. It says Night Night. It says Night Night. See you later. Acrobatics, lovely. Chopping up this little grass right there. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. One and two for today's video. Played great in all three battles. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. One and two for today's video. Felt like we played great all around, but ended up losing two battles to some whack stuff. But it's all good. That's the name of the game. Lose some games and Pokemon to that. You win some games like that. It's all good. It is definitely all good. But Tinkaton was absolutely amazing in the series, too. I loved it. Did some big time damage. Got off a few nice fake outs. All that good stuff all around. You had the Iron Bundle and Roar Moon, obviously doing a lot of the heavy lifting. Then you had Pokemon like Torkoal, Volcarona, and Annihilate. Who came in very situational but did their jobs but guys that is gonna be it for today's video if you did enjoy the content don't forget to smash that like button for me and if you're new here click that big red subscribe button so you know when all the my videos go live seriously you guys rock out make sure you spread some positivity day and i'll catch you on the next one peace out everybody